Hi and welcome to the channel. Today after a long hiatus on GPU unboxing, I'm going to unbox this Gigabyte RTX 4060 Ti 16GB. This is currently priced at around 27,950 pesos or around 487 US dollars, which is actually below MSRP in terms of actual global MSRP and Philippine markup MSRP. As for the box, there's nothing worth noting other than this being small and compact. Anyway, opening the box. Upon opening, you'd immediately see the GPU. Underneath is the manual. This is the GPU itself. As can be seen, this only has two fans. And based on testing, this has a fan stop mode, which is nice. It has covers for the PCIe and output ports as well. As for the dimension, it is 201mm by 120mm by 41mm or around two slots. As for the output ports, there are two display ports and two HDMI. As for the power connector, it requires a single 8-pin PCIe connector and has a TDP of 165 watts. It has a backplate which is nice and we can see thermal pads as well. Which means that this backplate is not just for rigidity and aesthetics, it can also help dissipate heat away from the PCB. The cooler's overall look is questionable since it seems underbuilt as compared to other variants. But as for the temps while benchmarking FA15 in 4K for 30 minutes, the GPU temps averaged at 73.13 degrees Celsius with a max temp of 77.2 degrees Celsius. The GPU hotspot temps averaged at 87.45 degrees Celsius with a max temp of 94.5 degrees Celsius. The fan speeds averaged at 69.76% with a max of 71%. In RPM, this is 2,188 and 2,248 respectively. The temps are borderline passable and it is worth noting that it is near its fan speed limits already as well. I didn't do intensive benchmarks but this is indeed comparable to its 8 gig variant. However, more VRAM of the same kind means better textures. As to whether this is worth it for its price, that is debatable. For performance, the RX 7700 XT offers similar pricing and for about 15% more, the RX 7800 XT gives you roughly 30% more FPS. On the AI side, more VRAM matters. In terms of peso per gigabyte, this doesn't stack up well against the RTX 3060 12 gigabyte, especially now that there's a cheaper one at around 16,000 pesos, about 1,320 pesos per gigabyte, compared to this at 1,746 pesos per gigabyte. That said, PCIe slots are limited, so it's better to evaluate a full system setup rather than individual parts. Overall, this GPU is basic, but it covers the essentials. I bought it mainly for the length, at 201mm, it fits many SFF cases. However, the temps aren't really impressive as expected. And to answer the video title, no, this isn't the best 201mm GPU. That title goes to the Gigabyte RTX 4070 version, which exists but it's hard to find now. So as of April 2025, before the 5060 launches, this might be the best available 201mm GPU. Anyway, that's it for this video. Do let me know in the comments of what you think of this GPU. Thanks for watching. Do like or dislike and subscribe for more unboxing, SFF builds, and benchmarks. Bye!